Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Terra Cards Madness. It is great to be here and I hope you're doing well today, my friends. So Terra Cards is off a fresh new update, the 1.3.7. And in the update, there's a new essence reward, which is really cool. It's also a bunch of new cards and new products. So we will quickly review them, of course, here today. But I'm actually not going to be interacting with the new things here today. Instead, what we're going to be focusing on is pigs. So one of the main things that the update changed is it made Rabbit Apprentice usable with the picks. So we can get a ton of them as long as we get that essence reward, right? And this is going to enable me to put together the penultimate pig run, which is what we're doing here today. So this is going to take some time and without further ado, let's just hop right on in here, my friends. New farm. We'll use the regular, you bet. We're going to go with save the animals as typical monoculture and seven seas explorer, of course. For the farm name, we're going to call this Penultimate Pig Run PPR. Let's go. All right, my friends, let's quickly cover what is new in 1.3.7. The first being the Baker Sheep. So plus five production to all sheep per bread made in the farm. As if you didn't need a reason to love bread even more. Well, the Baker Sheep will get you there. And it's also a fun little way and a fun little reason to make just the basic bread and not the you know fancy artisan bread. Next up, we have the Fabric Designer. Plus 5 production to sheeps in 3 island range. It also increases the gold value to all fabrics. So that is interesting, and you're probably noticing a little more variety here in the fabrics. And you would be completely correct. So let's get a little more info on that. Pop over to the Structural tab. All the way to the bottom, we have the Tailor's Workshop. So I'm not going to read all this, but essentially what it does is it increases the gold value of items created in the Tailor's Workshop. We'll also turn all of your pastors into fabric designers. Looks like the pastor got a hat there. And then furthermore, it enables the production of the tuxedo and the luxury suit. So the tuxedo will sell for 150. The luxury suit, however, sells for a whopping 1250. So it's a really, really high priced item. Fun, absolutely fun. And I'm looking forward to putting together a future run, you know, where we focus on this. Of course, we're not in this one. We're focused on pigs, but that's kind of what is new. There's also a new essence reward, and you can make black wool fabric as well. So that is pretty much 1.3.7 in a nutshell. And like I said, there was, you know, a few adjustments and fixes. The most impactful one to us here today is Rabbit Apprentice is now usable with pigs. Okay, so we can get a lot of them, provided we get the essence reward that we're looking for. And that is actually going to benefit this run and you know frankly it was something I was kind of waiting on before trying this and now we have it so here we go let's see how strong pigs can actually be so let's play some sunflowers right here if you are a veteran to the channel and the tarot cards here on the channel you definitely know that I'm a huge fan of the sunflower uh, wheat apple tree carrots here's some pigs we also have some small fencing. I guess let's go ahead and grab our first few pigs. I think it's a little early to be playing them, but might as well secure them in the hand. Let's discard the cow. Just don't need cows in this particular one. And let's keep playing our sunflowers. All right, we have corn. Yes, corn is very much part of the build as well. So we're going to put a little corn island here off to the east. Taxman cometh, no big deal. And like I said, I anticipate this one being a pretty long run, so I am kind of moving fast, and I'm doing that so we don't have a 90-minute video, if you know what I mean. Watery tree, yes. Kind of what we were looking for. All right, so corn, you bet. Watery tree, yes. Why don't we play... Let's play our blue wheat right here. That's a good spot for it. All right, corn, more corn. Yeah, we can take more corn. We're gonna need it to feed chickens because pretty much the staple product we're making here today is called the American breakfast. Requires bacon and eggs, who would've thought, right? Three more watery trees, tremendous. And really, yeah, this run is going to be centered around just creating as much of that particular product as possible. And obviously to get the bacon, you need pigs. And previously, it was tough to get them. You'd have to draw them rarely. Well, with Rabbit Apprentice, we can get one per turn. It can really help us build this out. 
However, for the first essence reward, it looks like we do have the new one. It drew up. It looks like a pig and a cow like kind of morphed together. So this is community production. Plus four production to each animal and plus five gold value to items made by each animal for every other animal on the same island. It's kind of uh, it's kind of wordy, but basically boosted production to all animals and then increased gold value to animal items. So essentially, I think of a medium fence full of chickens, right? You can get a lot of them in said medium fence. It's going to really help with chicken builds for sure. But we're going to take it right here. It's the new one. Of course we're taking it. Let's go. All right. Let's continue to play our corn. And let's see. I mean, we have a watery tree. Might as well display it. A three stack of medium fences. That is a blessing. Especially given just how much space the pigs take up, right? Who would have thought pigs take up a lot of space? Well, they certainly do. So let's see... I'm going to do... I'm going to get my pigs in place right here. So I'll be able to play the fence there as soon as we get it in our hands. Alright, so here's the medium fence. Actually, we gotta go down one. Yeah, because I'm thinking... We take advantage of the Yolix Sunflower in this one, for sure. Which pairs well with the Genetic Booster, of course, right? Then we need a crop for our pig friends to eat. And then we need our pigs, so yeah, pigs go right here. So let's play them. They are very water intensive, but we have the watery trees to help support. We, of course, just need something to help boost our watery trees. So let's find something. How about some blue wheat game? What do you say? Read my mind. Sometimes we're just like synergized like that. This game and I, I tell ya. Alright, so let's play it. Let's save the water supply. And let's get a Yolik Sunflower. Yeah, why not? I was just kind of talking about the Yolik Sunflower. So let's get it. Play a few more watery trees. We don't necessarily need our Boreal Bounty to really take off on our blue wheat islands. We just don't really need that, so... We can do this. Let's play the Yolik Sunflower right here. Fuel corn, fuel wheat, fuel peanuts. Uh, how about beans? Yes. And you're probably scratching your head right now. Like, why did you just take beans? Nobody ever takes beans. You're 100% right. Nobody ever does take beans. But in this particular one, the sell price of the beans is very, very high. Okay? And that, of course, is going to help us create very powerful pigs and the products that they create. Right? The truffle... The truffle oil, that is a special attribute of the pig. It's going to get increased value depending on the item it eats and the sell price of said item. So the bean sells for nine, I do believe, just base. So that's why we're using it. Watery tree. I mean, do I need more watery trees? I don't really, but an abundance of them is good with me. Especially given how water intensive the pigs are. So I think I'm going to be playing one right here. I mean, we can kind of just, I don't want to say recklessly, but we can certainly play the watery trees with a little more abandon than, say, if we only had one. Alright, carrots, fuel wheat, fuel tank. I need more blue wheats, preferably. We got a few fuel cows here. I think I will take the fuel cow. Because ideally, what you do is you get... I mean, I can get a biofuel generator, and the fuel cow goes really well with the biofuel generator, as you well know. How about a 21 stack of blue wheats? Absolutely. Let's just go to the moon with this. Alright, so energy and water pretty much solved. Let's grab a few crushers. Certainly use that. We'll be getting into some fuel production here as soon as I get the right cards. And that is going to allow us to actually start making a little bit of money off of our pig friends here. I mean, 19 units of corn, it's really hard to turn down given we do need pretty reasonable and sizable amount of corn. So let's just continue to add islands of corn. More blue wheats, yes. Okay, so the game is certainly hooking us up with a lot of the basics, the early game basics, that is, and you'll love to see it. 
All right, Melter. I think we can sit on the Melter for a little bit. Let's get the biofuel generator so I can get my crushers down. Now, I do need a few more. So I got 14 blue wheats. Got three watery trees. Okay. That's good. So I'm going to go... Let's go watery tree blue wheat island right here. So let's get that watery tree down. You bet. And then biofuel generator right here. Which means fuel cow right here. So a small fence for the fuel cow. You bet. And corn. All right, crow, popsicle, carrots. Blue wheat. More blue wheat. My goodness. I mean, I suppose I, I can take the silo. That's that's okay. Uh, let's do paste bloom. Though we could do chicken in the corn. I'll do chicken in the corn. Maybe there's a way we can utilize it. We'll find out. Let's get the fuel cows down. Let's get the biofuel generator down. And 7,500 fuel just like that, my friends. All right, so... We want to start a crusher island right here, and you'll see the truffles will eventually make their way into the crusher to be turned into truffle paste, which, you know, sells a little bit better. So for the silo... So I definitely want to find a way to weave in some more sunflowers here, so... I think a silo right here, you know, although it's not the most ideal placement for it, that's a good spot because I want more sunflowers right here to help boost the Yolik sunflower. So that is the logic there. Cocoa tree, mill, water cow, giant sunflower. Yeah, we can take this. I've got a specific use for the giant sunflower. That's for sure. And let's see, as far as pigs go, we're going to go... I mean, right here with more pigs, right here with more pigs, and essentially right here with more pigs. So I've got these medium fences. I can play them. And then also right here with will be the chickens. So essentially I'm just kind of laying the, the framework here so we can hit the ground running when the opportunity presents itself. The opportunity of course comes in the form of a card draw. But giant sunflower on the biofuel generator is a very very strong combination. Would highly recommend you do that if you are short on fuel. In fact the biofuel generator pretty much solves your fuel problems for you. It's one of the strongest cards in the game. One of my favorites. So let's get the centrifuge here. We do need the centrifuge for a specific purpose. You can see we're making 62 units of truffle paste, right? Well, we want that number obviously to get a little bit higher, so we're going to need some more pigs. But the centrifuge will help us process the paste into the beneficial truffle oil. Okay? So another crusher will go right here. Obviously, we're going to have pigs, right? So centrifuge, you bet. And let's see, we're making about 6,900. Let's see what that morphs into now. Uh, water chicken, sugar cane, just basic wheat. Melter, yeah, we'll take the melter. So what do we have now? 7,900. Okay, so truffle oil. These are meager beginnings here, my friends, even though we're at day 70. I do anticipate this one taking a bit of time to kind of put together, but we're going to get there. We're going to get there. So I'll play one wheat right here. I don't want to overexpand. I really don't want to do that, but I've got a specific purpose. Antenna, apple tree, grapes. I think to save on the massive reroll cost, well, the cost that can get massive, that is. We'll take the grapes. They also serve a purpose. Juicer, giant chicken, wheat. Another biofuel generator. We got a sunflower here. Let's grab the sunflower. Could certainly use some more. Alright, more pigs. Yes. Just what the doctor ordered, you bet. So let's play them right there. Oh, let's see. So more sunflowers will go here. Why don't we throw a silo right here? I've got a little bit of cash now, so let's go ahead and expand. 
just a little bit. I'm going to place sunflower right there and wheat right here. And you're probably wondering, what kind of trash islands are you putting together? Well, you would be absolutely correct. We are putting trash islands together. And there's a reason we're doing that. And I'll get into that in just a little bit. We have to draw the right cards, though, to really make use of it. So that's why I'm holding all kinds of random stuff in my hand, like, you know, a couple of the opening wheats, etc., etc. Water tank. Could we use a water tank? I mean, I think we probably could. Let's see, so pig here. Let me just look at our pig friend. Five of the most produced crop in adjacent islands, plus three production per gold value of eaten crop. Okay. Let's play a sunflower right there. We're setting up some trash islands. All right, pig. Right, let's play him right there then. Sheep, cocoa tree, more pigs. We'll take more pigs. Let's see, what is production like? 11 and 10 for the... Well, 11 for the beans. Now it's 31. We'll take that. Alright, 350k is the sum. It's got to get a whole lot higher. But we're starting to kind of let this build take shape just a little bit. We get the pig butcher here. So this is obviously a pretty impactful card. It's a very necessary card. So we'll be taking that. That is our key to creating the bacon. So that's good. Except for we don't have a place for them just yet. Gotta get another medium fence. Uh, fuel corn. How about carrots? Yeah, we'll take some carrots. I'm gonna play one right here. One right here. Obviously building up trash islands. I'm waiting patiently for, of course, my medium fence. So let's see. I need to expand just a little bit. Okay. And we need one more zone here. This will be another trash island right here. And I really don't like overexpanding this much, but... It's a necessity. So let's see, what are we looking at? Uh, five grapes and nine carrots. I kind of feel like I'm just holding a bunch of stuff in my hand right now. I suppose we could grab a few more fuel cows. What I don't want is for the, the reroll cost to become so expensive, right? I actually don't think I need the fuel cows. It's just kind of bogging up my hand. Uh, biofuel generator. Do I need it? Not really. I'm going to roll... I mean, we do need more wheats on our other trash islands, but I'm going to move off of that for now. I need some medium fences. I need some more pigs. Here we go. A three stack of medium fences. This is lovely. So let's get one right here. Genetic booster. Absolutely. We taking that. Absolutely. All right. 83k comes out the bank and we do get rabbit apprentice here, my friends. So this is tremendous. This is what you want to see. This is going to gift us with a pig card every turn. Because if you've noticed, you don't really get too many pigs, right? You just don't. So we certainly want to make sure that we do that. The pig butcher goes right here. And then, of course, given that we'll have a bunch of pigs, we can, of course, add the pig butcher right here. So we're going to need another crop down here as well for our pigs to eat. And there we go. We actually get a cow, too, because we have the fuel cows. Rabbit Apprentice. Oven. Yes, we do need the oven. We will certainly be taking the oven, and that's going to go right here. Genetic booster. All right, so how we doing? $73,500. We're getting a little bit of bacon here. We're getting some truffle paste. We're getting some truffle oil, which is selling pretty well. Popcorn doing pretty good. This bacon has a boosted sell price. I believe from the genetic booster. So this Yolik Sunflower is producing 268 energy. Can you imagine a bunch more of these genetic boosters and a bunch more of these Yolik Sunflowers? And that's kind of what we're going for 
with this island set up here. It'll be a pretty strong combination. A crusher, we don't need another crusher. Could use another Yolik Sunflower though, that's for sure. I was just kind of talking about those. Another example of like, the game just being, I don't know, connected in some strange way. Alright, so for another fence. So we do need more chickens for sure. So the oven's going to go right here. So more chickens will go right here. I suppose I just need a chicken. Banicula, yes. So Banicula, believe it or not, is in play. And what Banicula is going to do is it's going to create additional crop variety for me. And you'll see this all kind of come together if we can get there. It's either going to all come together or the rent's going to become too excessive to pay. We'll see. Banicula, welcome to the field. Boom. All right, 125k comes out the bank. It's a little spendy. But obviously the crops are withering now, which is good. That's what you want to see. It's definitely what you want to see. But we don't want to wither all of the crops, right? That's why we got the range figured out properly. So a three range, right? It's not touching these trash islands here. Essentially creates double the diversity for ya. At least as it relates to crops that can be withered, right? So I'm going to have to make another big expansion move. Centrifuge. Uh, we'll do the Yolik Sunflower. Yeah, I need... I need Home Sweet Home. Definitely need a few things yet. More beans, yes. Could use some more of those. So let's keep playing them. Get some chickens on the field as well. Biofield generator, peanut gnome, fabric designer. So there's the new fabric designer. Doesn't really apply in this particular build, but cool to see the new card, of course. I feel corn. Don't need that. Soy. Yeah, soy is a decent one to go with. Soy is a crop that can be used straight up and it can also be withered. So it's got a lot of flexibility. But I do fear that my hand is just getting a little overpopulated, so I might have to move off of some of this random stuff for the time being. But I think we can kind of cross that bridge when we get there. It's I'm still kind of, I don't know, we're still kind of early on in this build, believe it or not, even though we're at day 120. A regular wheat. Got a withered one there. I guess I'll do it over the reroll, and we get Blackwater, Fuel Grapes, or Cow Deluge. Blackwater is useful. This is why you want super high fuel reserves, so you can make full use of Blackwater. I've got a million dollars, so I think what I can do is I can afford another expansion. Very, very costly, but it's going to pay off, hopefully. I suppose we'll find out. We're either going to sink or swim by it by our reckless expansion choices. <laughs> we'll certainly see. Alright, so basic wheat. So let's throw that there. Let's throw some wheat here. We got some withered wheat there. Okay. Let's throw the wheat here. And here. Excellent. I need more fencing. Need a lot of things right here. Need a lot of things, my friends. Uh, beans, yes. More beans. You bet. In fact, while I'm thinking about it... Well, let's get this island filled up first with the beans, I suppose. Unicorn. Uh, absolutely. The unicorn is always welcome when we're doing an animal-centric build. Alright, so I feel... I feel like I gotta clear out my hand just a little bit. Either that or we expand... So essentially, I have to expand just a few more times. And then I'll be feeling good, so... Whoops. Did not mean to do that. That's okay.
We're just playing some cards here. All right, so need another carrot right here. I want to fill up this island first with the beans, and then, of course, we can route them to our trash islands. What's missing here? Grapes? Yep. So let's get them played. Got the soy. Okay, cocoa tree, medium fences. Desperately need those. Let's put the unicorn in with Bonicula. What do you say? A very expensive unicorn. And then I, what I think I can do is I can move off of these just trash cards. So let's get rid of the carrot. Let's get rid of the grapes. We got beans. I mean, maybe soy could actually work with the pigs. I think it probably could. They do need something to eat, right? And soy does have a decent sell value. But we also have beans as well. So we can keep playing that here, which is going to, of course, bolster our truffle oil production. Making 188k about. And bacon is, of course, carrying us. Well, popcorn's not doing bad either. Truffle paste doing pretty good. Truffle oil also doing pretty good. Yolik Sunflower, yes. So I like opening up the, the sell sheet, right? And just seeing, like, a large page of a bunch of different products. Very cool. So we have more medium fences. This means we can start getting more pigs played. So how are we going to do that? Well, we have an oven right here. So I'm going to get more pigs right here. We'll focus on filling this one up. Yeah, there's a baker sheep. What do you know? It's a nice looking sprite. I like that sprite. A fabric designer. More corn. I think I'm good on the corn. Here's an olive tree. We can use this for product diversity. It can't be withered, of course, but... We can use it on the non-witherable islands. And you're probably like, why are you building trash islands? Well, it's going to make sense once we get there, my friends. Just be patient. I gotcha. More medium fences. We'll take them. All right, so $2 million. We have the flood, we have tropical soil, and we have cow deluge. I will take the flood because if we ever get the lake guardian, it's going to come in handy for us. So that's good. Um, let's see. So got pigs, centrifuge. So essentially I need another crop right here. So another fence of pigs can go down here. Soy. Yeah, I will take soy. I think that's a fine food for our pigs. So why don't we just go crazy with the soy on this island here. We want high production so the pigs have plenty to eat. More soy. I suppose we have another island to fill up. Might as well. That'll free up any future beans that we find for our trash islands. Alright, so these are all filled up. So the next step is going to be, of course, to add some more pigs around this future crusher and centrifuge combination. A water tank. Oven. I need more ovens for sure. I mean, we need an oven right here. We essentially need four ovens. So I think I'll throw it right here because we have two pigs on it. Okay, so soy is all good to go. This will be a future zone for more pigs, so let's go ahead and preemptively get the soy in there. I'm still waiting on some chickens, man. Another medium fence. I mean, I need chickens on here. I need chickens on this oven here as well. 
So I think I play the fence right here. I mean, a chicken in a nest wouldn't be a bad thing to get. 600k comes out the bank. Starting to get it a little expensive. Yolik Sunflower, yep, we'll take that. Absolutely. 317. Centrifuge, yes. Need it right there. Peanut Gnome, Scarecrow, Sugar Cane. I guess Sugar Cane for the Trash Islands wouldn't have been a terrible choice. We do get the cross here, I think. You could certainly do worse than that. So let's expand and play it. Making about 230k. Fuel corn mill. I mean, fuel corn is considered crop diversity, so we can go with it. We get home sweet home here, so this is good. Exactly what we kind of... I mean, one of the things we were certainly waiting on, right? So that is good. Now we can start filling up our islands to the brim with pigs. Let's go. Can get rid of this fuel corn. Lake water cow crusher. Do I need a crusher? No. More pigs. Could also go peanuts. So peanuts can be withered. I'll take peanuts over more pigs. Versatile crop that can be withered. Right? And I just forgot to play the pig. Definitely don't want to make that a habit. Alright, so for more peanuts, is there anywhere else that we could really use them? I suppose on the biofuel generator. I mean, it's a very low impact. But we'll do it. Oven, yes. We certainly need some more ovens. Alright, so oven has to go right here. And let's keep playing the pigs. Centrifuge, bio generator, fuel tank, corn, fuel peanuts. We'll take the fuel peanuts. Continue to build out the trash islands. Alright, looking good. In fact, let's zoom this out a bit. I feel like we're a little too large to be so zoomed in. Forgot to play my pig again. My goodness. Alright, let's not make that a habit. Let's go. Alright, gnome, female rabbits. Giant sheep. Giant pig. Okay, here we go. We finally get the giant pig. At day 171. Wow. So now I need a fence, of course. But at least I have it in my hand. Here you go. Here's a small fence. We'll take it just so we can get the giant pig on the field and recognize the benefits. So you see the production right here, right? I mean, decent, right? Decent. 122, 150. That's great. But if we put a giant pig right here, there's a lot of different products he's eating right here, right? Now it's 430, right? So it tripled essentially. And furthermore, you can get more than one giant pig, right? It's not a one-time pig. It is a multiple. So you can really kind of maybe start to visualize how strong a build could be. So for the giant chicken, I mean, I do need the giant chicken. I prefer the regular chicken, but we can get some giant chickens. Why not? Start getting some egg production. Boom. There we go. So we made it, my friends. We made the American breakfast. Let's see. Where is it at here? There it is. So $32,000 in the American breakfast. And now the goal is to scale this upward into the stratosphere. And we're going to try to do that here today. So 389 production from a single giant chicken. I don't know that I want to go crazy with the giant chickens. But I think what this does is it will open up the nest for us. And look at this. We've got regular chickens now. Great. And golden chance to go with them. Why not? Yeah, so regular chickens are more impactful because you can get more of them. And our animals are going to get very, very strong. And if you compare the production, I mean, 
The basic chicken is essentially as powerful as the giant chicken, except for it takes up one fence slot versus four, right? So it's super impactful. Uh, crusher, genetic booster, yes. The answer is yes for that. Uh, pigs, just keep playing them. Need another oven. So let's just keep pumping these chickens up. Biofield generator pastor. Black sheep. Baker sheep antenna. Bird nest. Okay, this will help me get my chickens off the ground. And let's just kind of get a snapshot. How are we doing? $1.3 million per turn. 132k in the American breakfast. And of course, there's one just big missing card to really help us improve the value. Just overall value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a bird nest right here. And we'll place a regular chicken right here. And of course, that will enable us to get more chicken cards per turn. Probably than we know what to do with. Yeah. See? All right, so let's keep playing our chickens then. We're gonna be able to get our fences nice and filled up. All right, looking good, pigs. Yep, keep playing them. American Diner, here we go. This is what we were looking for here, my friends. The American Diner. And what will this do? Well, it's going to boost the overall value of the American Breakfast. So to give you a little snapshot at the effectiveness of this American Diner, we're making it $2.2 .2 million per turn, right? Let's throw it right here. And let's measure the effects. Let's keep playing our chickens. And pigs, of course. All right, so now it's $2.5 million. We'll just keep scaling it up. Got to get another butcher pig down here on these two so we can get the bacon to feed to the respective oven. And the American Diner has some very good range in it. I believe the range is three. Need another oven right here as well, right? So we still need a lot of stuff to go right for us, but we're getting there. We are. Lake Guardian, yes. I mean, Lake Guardian is just a card. When you have the flood, you just take it and you smile as you do so. But you better make sure your resources are in order. Otherwise, you're looking at trouble in playing the Lake Guardian because it triples the water cost. Or in this case, it'll be fuel cost because we have black water. So Lake Guardian goes right here. You see our fuel reserves take a steep hit. But now all production is doubled for our animals. So 860 for these pigs. You got 906, 890, 930. $2.7 million being made per turn and we'll have to see what that morphs into now it's 4.8 so the lake guardian the single lake guardian card just I mean it's just crazy right it's just so powerful it's just a really hard card to deny All right, so now we have the need for more fencing as kind of usual around here. Uh, beans, yeah, we'll take beans because we need a little more diversity, especially for our giant pig. Now, giving a giant pig beans, is that a good idea? I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't think so, but we're going to do it. And the question is, can beans wither? They sure can. So a good option for our wither islands as well. All right, let's keep playing our chickens. I suppose we could play them in here too. Why not? We're almost there. We just need a few more. Well, we need one more oven. I need more fencing. And then I can start setting up other pigs. 
Could use another watery tree. Or just a tree, I suppose. Crap collector. Sunflower. I will take the sunflower. So we could use one on... Doesn't look like it withers. But I can use one on these islands here. So, yeah. We'll do it. Absolutely. So the chickens will only be useful if they're on an oven. So this is another location for the chicken. Need another fence, but... Could use some chickens right here. Could use some chickens on this oven as well. Yeah, because this will be pigs. Because we've got the crop, right? I mean, we just need more fences. That's essentially what we need. So let's roll for some fences. Let's roll until we get them. Alright, Trash Island. Trash Island. Apparently the sunflower doesn't wither. Even though in the encyclopedia does show the withered sunflower, but clearly not happening. So let's get more sunflowers right here. So help bolster our Yolik sunflower. Boom. Just makes it a little stronger, right? Makes our overall build just a little bit stronger. Weed expansion, I don't want to do this because it's going to mess up our trash islands. So let's go ahead and get Gluttonous Feast. And I gotta roll for some fencing. I mean, that's what we need. How about a nice four stack of fences? I'll go with the water tank. We'll play that right here. Let's see, do we need any more crop islands? That's what I'm kind of trying to figure out. I don't think so. No, the rest is going to be animals, pretty much. Another American diner. It's not going to do us any good. More sunflowers. You chose a strange time to give me more sunflowers, game. I tell ya. How about some more giant pigs? How about some more fences? I mean, we'll take it. It makes the Yolik sunflower strong. Another genetic booster, sure. I mean, I'm definitely not complaining about the things that we're getting here today. But if we're going to be successful and operate a farm here, my friends, at day, what, 216, 210? Yeah, it must be 210. Then you bet, we're going to need fencing. I mean, that's a basic thing to a farm. Do we have arboreal bounty yet? No, we don't. So let's go ahead and take the trees. Because this will give us a little more diversity as well, right? Actually, the cocoa tree cannot be withered, so... Don't know why I played it in the interior there. I guess I just got a bit excited. Alright, let's get rid of the cocoa tree. Easter bunny mixer, water cow. A church carrot. Crap collector, fuel tank. Sugar cane. I mean, we'll take it, I suppose. It doesn't wither. I know that for a fact. Man, if I could just get some more giant pigs, I tell ya. We're at day 214. I think sugarcane, the production on it gets pretty good. And it sells for okay. So I think we could probably use it to fill up this... Food island here, if you will. I suppose I should probably be playing my chickens. All right, looking good. Benicula, soy. Don't need another Benicula. I need some fencing. Come on, game. Just hook up the fences. Let's go. Man. Just tough stuff here. Don't need the melter. Yeah, we are held back by fences. We just need them. Baker sheep. I mean, it's not going to do us any good, really. Is there a play with 
The crab collector, though. I mean, not really a useful one. Let's go with the scarecrow and let's dismantle the scarecrow. Weed expansion, veganism, tropical soil. I suppose we can go with tropical soil. Another oven. Yes, finally. Okay, so that goes right here. Boom. Alright, $21.8 million per turn, and just look at all this different product that we're making here. Obviously with the withered crops, right, it does expand your sell sheet quite a bit, but... I mean, we got $10.5 million in the golden egg, and $1.5 million in the American breakfast. Really kind of a fun build to put together. I need more giant pigs, and I need more fences. Let's go. We're doing... Pretty well, we're at day 226 here. A watery tree, I suppose. Alright, another week passes by. We are still just without fencing. It's kind of amazing. All right, we're good on the wheat. More pigs. I mean, I suppose I can take them. We'll certainly use them. Once we get there, that is, of course. Medium fences. Hallelujah. Here we go. All right, we finally got some more medium fences. So you know what that means? It means right here. But we need pigs right here. I suppose we can have chickens right here. So let's go with one fence there. And how about one fence of chickens here? So pigs go here. And then chickens, of course, go here. Be pumping out some more American breakfast here, my friend. Alright, fuel wheat. That is a diverse product. So we can utilize that, for sure. Got some more pigs. Absolutely. How about another couple of medium fences here, game? What do you say? I mean, we're kind of... We're synergized, right? I'm just making a simple request. I need three more giant pigs and a bunch more fences, if you would, please. I'm asking for a friend. Let's go. A friend that's in great need, that is. Watery tree. Popsicle. A $13 million reroll. Ugh. Yuck. A king crab. Man, what is... Like, what is it giving me the king crab for, honestly? I don't even have fish. There's nothing for it to eat. I mean, one thing that really does help us get a lot stronger is the popcorn buff. So if we could ever get that at day 260, maybe we get it. But that is certainly one that we're on the lookout for. Especially with all of these chickens, can you imagine? Antenna, I suppose it can go right here. Uh, more chickens, yes. Okay, so we got another fence filled up of both chickens and pigs. So we simply just need more fences. Who'd have thought? Baker sheep. Let's grab them and tell him that we're not buying what he's selling. Trying to cut back on baked goods. Centrifuge cocoa tree. It's just not useful, man. Blue wheats. We can use this. I wonder, does it increase his production? Yeah, it does. That one giant pig is multiplying our animal production by quite a bit. 
Just that one guy, solo. Guess I could have played some blue wheat right here. That's okay. Bird nest juicer. Genetic booster, yes. We'll take it. Yolik sunflower, yes. We'll take it. Build up a few rerolls, right? Centrifuge sunflower. I suppose I can play some more sunflowers. I mean, at least we have a use for it, right? So I need chickens back here. The Yolik sunflower is, what, three range? So if I throw it right here, we'll be good. Right? Oh yeah. Yeah, we're good. Alright, popcorn buff. Tremendous. Okay, so... 32.3 million dollars per turn. Let's see what that morphs into. Alright, so... We have all of the exchanges taking place. We have our four ovens. That's what we need. We just need more fences now. So I don't need more ovens. Panicula, don't need ya. Giant pig, how about this? Yes. Except for we don't have a fence to play it in. But we're looking at $41.1 million now. More just basic pigs. I mean, I've got peanuts in place here, I do believe. Yeah, because I see withered peanuts. $1.2 billion. I think we can afford a bit of a reroll. Here we go, another giant pig. So the game is um, just being quite generous with the giant pigs. Now, how about the fencing? Let's go with the fences. $82.4 million. Juicer crap collector. Fuel tank. Don't even want the unsightly fuel tank on the farm. Penguin peanuts. I guess the penguin. Take them in. Melter apple tree grapes. I suppose the apple tree. I mean, we do have arboreal bounty in effect, but there's a few locations we can play the apple tree. So we're good. There. Fuel cow beans. I think we do need more beans. Peanut fest. Elite cows. I suppose peanut fest. I guess do I have beans here? I'm not seeing it. So let's throw one right there. Withered beans. Okay, got it. This one doesn't have any beans. Sugar cane, carrot, wheat, soy, grapes. That's peanuts. Okay, I think we're safe to play the beans right there. And we just need some fences. So we do get two medium fences here. Now we're going to be met with the choice, my friends. The choice is... Do we use them to continue to play chickens? Or do we use them to continue to play giant pigs? Do we do one of each? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I definitely need another giant pig. I mean, this island is just ready to go. And so is this island here. Maybe we go with two giant pigs. We have them in our hands. Let's do it. So $39.1 million per turn is what we're making here. Let's play two giant pigs with this setup. And let's see what this does for us. So 39.1 morphs into 74.3. About doubled our income. So that's, of course, why we went with the giant pig. A centrifuge carrot. Giant sheep. Giant carrot. I'm just going to default to the solar panel, I suppose. You'll look sunflower, yes. $185 million. I mean, we're still looking good. Still got billions. Sunflower, I suppose. I mean, can we just throw the sunflowers right here? Yeah, it looks like all the trash islands are populated. Yeah, let's throw it right here. Why not? Water retreat, fuel corn. 
Do we have fuel corn? Yeah, we do. I can see it right there. Obviously, it can't be withered, but it looks like, yeah, fuel corn. We've done that. Wheat, I've already got that. Carrot, apple tree, antenna. I suppose I'll take the antenna. I just don't think a very good long-term economic plan is to re-roll your, your bankroll, right? So, I'm being cautious about re-rolls, especially as things just get so expensive. Uh, blue wheats. I think we're good on blue wheats. I remember playing that. Uh, fuel infuser. Let's do one re-roll here. Pigs. Corn, cocoa tree. For the essence reward, we have... Let's go with paste bloom. I mean, it'll do a little something, I suppose. Soy wheat melter. Man, I just need more fences. Small fences. I mean, it's probably the best we're going to get. Honestly. It's the best we're going to get. I think they're more ideal probably for our chickens. So if I get a small fence right here, and start playing chickens. We can make more of these. American breakfast. In fact, I do need a butcher pig as well. And the butcher pig has to go right here. So I definitely want to reserve a spot for a butcher pig as well. A small fence will work just fine for that purpose. I mean, I would prefer a medium fence, right? Because pigs kind of take up a lot of space. Who would have thought? Pig butcher, what do you know? We got exactly what we're looking for there. Perfect. Now this is going to enable us to create... The bacon from these two pigs. Which will allow the American breakfast to be created here and here. And get boosted in price by the diner, of course. Not sure what I want to do with this small fence. I'm kind of compelled to just continue to just draw cards. See if we can get a medium fence. So boom, pig butcher goes on the field. And the chicken's coming in. So I need more chickens here. Need them right here as well. In fact, we desperately need them right here. There's no chickens supplying eggs to this oven. Therefore, no American breakfast production. Ah, so this is uh, the electric chicken. I didn't think about that. That's okay. Sometimes you just get a nice little surprise. So we get a giant pig and a medium fence, man. They're making us choose. The giant pig is simply more impactful. It gets us there. It makes us the cash. How about the giant chicken? Let's put giant chickens right here instead. It'll be some egg production. Actually, quite a bit. If you consider how strong these animals are. All right, giant pig. Just need more fences. Again, I mean, it's a common, it's a common, common theme. Small fence, we'll take it. In fact, it kind of hurts to have to play... To use medium fences for a singular giant pig. You know what I mean? But there we go. Uh, $101.7 million per turn. Morphs into what? Based on... Just one giant pig. We're going to find out. 131.2. Okay, so the giant pig. Hugely impactful. Right? Alright, let's go here. And let's play some more just basic chickens. Giant chicken here. I think if I ever get a vulture card, we can play it right here. Uh, medium fences times three. Tremendous. So the game's not done hooking us up yet. You watch. What it's going to do is hook us up with more giant pigs. And then I'm going to be compelled to play them. Of course. Let's make sure that's a pig. It is. Pig. Got a bunch of chickens left over. That's not bad. Alright, so let's play them. Medium fence. 
So what else could we do with this particular island here? The pig butcher is supporting. I think I'm going to save my fencing. Let's go with elite cows, I suppose. I'm going to save my fencing and maybe start setting up another trash zone. We're pretty much max as far as fencing. Now, what we could do is, you know, look to continue to set up the same type of grid that we have. But I think what I'll do is I'll set up some more trash islands. So let's see. Banicula is withering three spaces out. So if we make another trash island right here, and then just another basic island right here, if we get a giant pig, we can make use of it. So wither island, trash island. Now I suppose we could do the same thing right here with this as well. And I'm kind of just banking on getting more giant pigs. I don't know. The game's just been hooking it up. So Melter Cow Penguin. $219 million for the reroll. Uh, sunflowers, yes. So let's discard the soy. Water tank, I think we can just move off of that as well. Sunflowers right there and right there. And I suppose let's fill this up the rest of the way. And let's dispo. Giant pig, see? I called it. <laughs> I called it. So these aren't going to be quite as powerful, of course, but... They can certainly get there. $118.5 million, I think that's due to some of the variability with the golden egg. But we can, of course, look a little bit closer. Alright, we're at date 330-something. American Breakfast making us, what? $27.3 million. Very nice. Alright, more diversity of product. You bet. The game's gonna hook up another giant pig. I'm just feeling it. Cow, wolf, uh, grapes, yep. Genetic booster, yes. $1.4 billion coming out the bank, and that one does hurt just a little bit, my friends. Uh, veganism, we'll take that. Genetic booster, we'll get that in place. Baker sheep. Carrots, don't need them. Yolik sunflower, we'll take it. 908 energy production out of a single Yolik sunflower. Impressive. Water cow. Day 346. Uh, beans, yes. Beans can be withered. 2.1 billion. I mean, this feels like it's... Yeah, here's another giant pig. I called it. The giant pig must start showing up a little more frequently in the late game. Is what it feels like to me. Mixer, melter. Olive tree. Yeah, we can go in on the olive tree here. In fact, let's play it right here. Right here. 3.1 billion dollars. All right, so now it's... We're running out of time here. Uh, fuel grapes, I suppose. The old broken method of just destroying this game. You know, fuel grapes. Remember the good old days? I know I do. Cocoa tree. Sure, we can throw that right here. Right here. Now let's see, we're making $213.9 million per turn. And let's see, American Breakfast, 31.9. Golden Egg, 55.4. What else is selling particularly well? $9.1 million in bacon? I mean, that is, must be a very large number. Okay, so Golden Eggs have a bunch of variable prices. Is that the genetic boosters effect? I wonder. Truffle oil? Actually, no, it must be this. That's what it is. The community production. The new essence reward giving us all of these variable prices. Very cool. 
I do like that. So $4.7 billion in one day is due. This might be the end of the line here at day 370. Yeah, definitely. It doesn't even move the needle. $4.7 billion. So this is time running out here for us, my friends. Let's do a little helicopter view of the overall farm. So if you're going to try a pig build, would highly recommend you build these trash islands like displayed here today. It just makes it that much stronger, right? Try to get one of each. Try to save you know, a few crops of, of each. Because you're building your actual islands, right? Try to save a few crops of each and just play them in trash islands. Of course, that's granted you have the money to expand. It's definitely something that got tight early game for us here. And then, yeah, I just tried to get as many pigs and chickens around ovens and, of course, in the center, the American Diner. So let's go ahead and end our turn. Let's end the run. $14.5 billion made here today on the farm. And this has been the penultimate pig run. I sure hope you enjoyed. And if you did, my friends, please give the video a like. And if you're new here and you're enjoying the content here on the channel, then please also consider becoming a subscriber. Help support a growing channel and join a growing community. We'd love to have you. Stay tuned for some more tarot cards action. I'll be looking to do a luxury cloth or a luxury suit. You know, tuxedo run here in the near future. So with that said, my friends, I'm going to get on out of here. Thanks again so much. I really do appreciate it. And I'll be catching you in the next video. Thanks a lot.